So this is day 34 with Dorado. And I uh, decided that we would just focus on uh, lunging and playing around in the big arena today. Um, I spent the past two days doing uh, long lining or ground driving, so it's kind of good to change things up. And he's getting a lot better about lunging. Um, he's not testing, trying to drag me all over the place, which is nice. It's a nice feeling to have once that starts to work. So he's listening when I ask him to yield his haunches. Give him a good face rub. Now I'm going to ask him to change directions. So you see he kind of wanted to spook and kind of uh, lean in. So I flicked the rope at him to kind of get him to stay out on the circle. So that time he did much better. And I didn't flick the rope at him. And ask him to yield his haunches. So when I ask him to yield his haunches, my, my eyes are actually staring at his hip. And it really is fun to see how sensitive your horses can be by just where you put your eye position and stare at them. You can get them to move their body. Now he got a little bit sensitive. And so I have um, the stirrup. And all I'm doing is I'm just kind of making a little popping sound. And so he's wanting to kind of see his body's all tense. It's kind of balled up. And I'm just going to make those little sounds that stirrup kind of snapping a little bit and that's good he stood still now I'm going to ask him to move his feet a little bit <laughs> and you see because I had the stirrups let down they're bouncing around on him so he gave a little bit of a buck that's the whole point of having those kind of cling and clink and get him used to things touching his side and having those sounds all getting him, prepar him prepared. He gave me a nice yield. Scary. We're going to change directions. Asking him to canter. So he's just a little distracted. You can see he's cross cantering. I'm going to ask for the canter again. That time he was pretty good. So anytime I cue him to canter, I'm pointing and then I give a smooch. And then that can transfer. Then when I'm riding, he'll hear me smooch and then he'll canter. Well, at least that's the theory. That was a pretty good. I'm going to go back and wiggle the saddle around, make some noise. He's never been really fond of sound behind him. So, again, that that's kind of important to play around with. Let him know that it's not going to hurt him. Mm. Next, what I did is I set up a couple of ground poles. And um, he's such a brave horse about objects now so he he's really quite clever about the poles and had no real problems about that so he went to the left and we changed directions and went I'm about to make him change and go the other way and again very good I asked him to go one more time I found a good place and let him stop there. So that was kind of what we did for today and working for tomorrow.